Good morning and welcome to General James Reviews. Today we're going to review the Bell Howe Solar Spotlight. The reason I picked this light to uh, to showcase is because of the fact that one thing that this light is reasonably priced. The problem I found with a lot of solar lights is the fact the price is overpriced. So I wanted to spotlight this one because this light you can pick up at Lowe's for around 20 bucks. And so, you know, as me, I was looking for something reasonably priced that uh, was uh, a good light. Okay, I bought a couple of different lights. Uh, I, I bought one at Lowe's that was uh, made by EverReady Battery Company. And uh, when I took it out of the box, it was $14.97. When I took it out of the box, one light didn't work on it right off the bat. So I took it back and uh, I was looking and I found this light. And I was saying, well, 20 bucks, I'll try it, I'll see. And uh, it turns out that it's a pretty good light. It picks up from 25 motion from 25 feet away. And the reason I know this for a fact is when I let the dogs out, when they get to the edge of the concrete from the back door, the light comes on. And uh, you can see it's got a little red light on it that motions that is the motion detector flashing. And uh, it does not take any batteries. It's totally solar. So the, the downfall to this one is the solar panel is mounted on top. So therefore, wherever you face your light has to be to where the sun will shine on your panel. Luckily for me, the location I had pre-picked to put a light that the sun hits most of the day and uh, so uh, it uh, works just fine. Uh, I will be taking the camera outside and show you the light coming on and stuff and you can see how bright it is in the darkness and because it's pretty dark here right now. But uh, like I say, it's a solar powered light, $20. You can pick it up at Lowe's. I'm sure you could probably find it on Amazon and other places. It is a uh, as seen on TV item, which I'm not too hip on some of the as seen on TV items because they don't uh, do what they advertise. But this one I am uh, happy with and uh, I, I want everybody to know that you can get a, a reasonably priced solar light that will work just fine you just need to uh, uh, this one's a good one and uh, what I did is went out and bought some and kind of found out the hard way and I've got another solar light that I picked up at Walmart for $9.99 if you want something even cheaper and the good thing about it is the solar panel moves you can uh, take the solar panel and move it somewhere you know, within, a, I think it's five or six feet of it, maybe a little further than that, but it, I think it's about five or six feet. So therefore, like if you're shining on the front of your house, but the sun only hits the side of your house, you can put the solar panel on the side and run it around to the front where your camera is, or vice versa, just, you know. But anyway, you can move it to where you can get it, and you can pick it up at Walmart for $9.99. It's a... Uh, it's a regular brand that Walmart carries. Uh, I think they might be made exclusively for Walmart. Can't swear on that. And uh, But I have one of those on the front of my house, which does really well. It's like a square panel light, and this is a round, uh, well, more of an octagon shape, but with a round pattern of light. So uh, uh, another thing is that uh, I'll read the box for you. Uh, it's motion activated, detects up to 25 feet, it's solar powered, weather resistant, eco-friendly, eight super bright LED lights. So you got eight lights on there shining and it really shines pretty good. And I'm fixing to take it outside and let you all see how it works. Give me just a second here and we'll, we'll uh, come right back with how it works. 
All right, we're outside. You might hear the dogs in the background. But we're going to walk towards the light. There you see. Now you can see we're a good distance from it. So we are walking closer to it. And you can see it's pretty bright. And let me go around it here so it's easier for you to, to actually see that it's mounted here on the front of my workshop. And you can see that... Uh, my workshop's open there that uh, you might be able to see the solar panel on top. I'm not going to guarantee that. Uh, but you can see it came on and it's pretty bright. And it lights up a good portion of the area. And so we'll go back in right now and then we'll finish this video. All right, we're back inside and I got some information I want to give you before we end this video. And the uh, this spotlight is also available at Home Depot, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond. And we'll see here, uh, of course Lowe's, which I told you to start with. And uh, we'll see if there's anywhere else that it has listed here. Uh, while we're at it and uh, also available at Ace Hardware, Target, uh, Max Warehouse, uh, HSN, all of them are pretty much comfortably to around $20 no matter where it's sold so that in overstock.com is a little higher so I wouldn't suggest you get it there because they're $21.99 so the rest of them are 1995, 1957. Uh, Max Warehouse is 1957. Uh, most of them are 1999. Uh, 1997, you get, uh, you know, at uh, Home Depot. But I paid 1999 for it at Lowe's. Now, uh, so there's a, a quite a few places you should be able to find something in your area that has this spotlight. And like I say, I do recommend it. It is a uh, a real good uh, reasonable price solar spotlight as you can see in the video and so uh, I'll be doing some more videos on uh, other lights I'm probably going to do one on the 990 uh, 9 one at Walmart uh, I'll have to uh, look and see uh, I don't even think I have the box to it because I bought it before I bought this one when the other 14 uh, the uh, Ever Ready one did not work. Uh, it, the Ever Ready only had two lights and one was uh, blacked out and did not work and one did. So I took it back the first day that I got it because I opened it up. I, I uh, cut it on. Now there is a little switch if you'll look on the back of it when you get it. On the back of the uh, solar panel there's a little switch that goes from off to auto. So you need to switch that on auto before you mount it. Now mounting is real easy and uh, it is. it takes three screws that comes with it and you unscrew the back from the uh, from the light and uh, I'm talking about this part right here. It unscrews and then you just put three screws in it on the wall and uh, real simple you just put those three screws in it and then you screw the light back to it now it does have a yard stake I'm going to show you the yard stake here and uh, you'll put the uh, this part in the ground and then slide your top on it and then your light sets on top of it And when you, you can see this is two pieces. You put your stake in the ground and tap it down with something. I suggest a rubber hammer because it does not damage the stake. And uh, you can take and mount it in your guard instead if that's what you're looking for is something down low that, uh, you know, to light up your walkways or something like that. Uh, I mainly use mine for when the dogs go out. They have a little bit more light to... Uh, 
to light up the yard and uh, and like I say I've got it on the front of my workshop I have a wood workshop out there and uh, so it uh, gives the dogs a little bit more light when they go out plus I can see when the dogs won't come in to get around to get them gathered up and uh, but word of advice do not put your light on top of this and then use it to hammer this down I know that's an oxymoron but if they wouldn't have it in the instructions if somebody hadn't done it you know what I mean so do not use that use uh, I suggest like a rubber hammer tap this in the ground slide your pole on it and then your light just sets on top of it and uh, it's got a circle cut out in in the back of this plate that just sits down on this stake and you can actually see it right there in the bottom corner that that uh, stake in the ground with that light sitting on it so but I do highly recommend this because it's durable it's made out of strong plastic and it is reasonably priced which is a big thing I always try to go for the stuff that works that is reasonably priced if I can and uh, so uh, I uh, do appreciate everybody who watches who has who views this uh, video uh, please hit the subscribe button and ring that bell and uh, so you'll know when I post another review uh, and uh, I will be recommending this channel on my other channel for people to come and check it out but if you want a good solar powered light that you don't have to worry about changing the batteries this is a good one for twenty dollars and you can see it's several stores you can pick it up at that I've listed and so this is General James reviews and I do appreciate you watching uh, give that thumbs up and y'all have a good day